The very first step in this process will be to create a new project after you've launched Hakusai. To do this, hit the plus button in the top right corner, and then to record a very first track, hit the record button. You get this little pop-up window. Note the fact you get the ability to live monitor the sound or to monitor the track that's already within the application. I'm turning both these off because there's nothing to monitor at the moment. Hit the record button and then you will see the audio level move up and down on the screen. Now, as I recorded this tutorial, I actually had the monitoring live off, so the application didn't record my voice, but it is actually recording audio in the background. To finish, press stop, and you will then see your recording pop up in its very own track. Now, there are a few things about Hakusai that take a little bit of getting used to. The gestures are one of them. So if you tap anywhere in the timeline, you will notice so these little pop-up menus. One of the features is wherever you tap, you will get a playback insert uh, menu, audio editing app. just like this. Now, what I'm going to do as a first demonstration is select a clip to actually delete. This. So I'm playing back here um, the clicks that I made in the recording. So press and select, slide your finger along the timeline to actually highlight it, and you can very simply delete, and it auto-stitches it back, as you can see. Just to demo, that's to definitely one gesture that's worth practicing. In a second, like this. And that's a perfect example of unwanted sound. You can pinch to zoom. It's probably important to know this, so you can actually zoom in and get a lot more detail in your actual waveform, which is very helpful. This. And... It's worth noting that you can scrub through the audio as well, as long as you tap within the actual highlighted box. If you tap the More button that comes up when you have a selection, there's an extensive menu of different features. Fade in, fade out, compressors, normalizers, limiters, insert silence, audio copy, audio paste. It's a really, really big menu. Now, do note that the version of the app that I'm, de I'm demoing for you right now I bought all the in-app purchases, so all these extra features become unlocked when you actually buy the gift pack, which is €8.99. There's some kind of special effects tricks in here, and delays, and reverb, all that sort of stuff as well. Do remember that I've created cheat sheets for this application as well, which go through all these menus and these gestures that are available on tvvj.wordpress.com. So I'm just going to add some reverb to the clip to show you how it works. Notice I can actually set the room size and strength. And if I play it back now. So this is an audio test recording using the Hakusai multi-track audio. So you'll notice the uh, reverb in that. Now here's one of the tricks. Shake the device to reveal the undo menu. So this is an audio test. See, that's back to the way it was. If you want to record a second track, simply hit the record button. Same process as before. Again, hit the stop menu or stop button when you're ready, and now you have two tracks of audio. And you can hear this the overlap between the two tracks. Track track two. I'm going to select this piece of audio. I'm going to move it up. And when I slide my finger up the screen on a selected clip, I can move it around the timeline. So it's simply a case of select and then press, slide your finger up the screen to highlight it so you can move it. I position it at the end here. You will notice now that we play the continual from track one into track two. Again, it's worth practicing, but it's a very, very powerful tool. I'm just going to select that clip again tweak the end here. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to delete this one and then paste it onto the top channel so you can move the audio clips around between the tracks no problem. Of unwanted sound. This is So here's an example of where the pinch to zoom is quite helpful. I'm just going to take this gap in the recording out. So select, cut, it auto stitches it back by itself of unwanted sound. This is audio track two. All done. And if you want to delete a track, just go to the settings menu here and hit delete. The little arrow there at the bottom left-hand corner is what allows you to hide that menu, by the way. To export, go back to my documents, go to the top left corner of the export button, hit the project that you want to export, and then go to export. 
And the way that we have it set up for use is, is a WAV file, high quality, and you really only have two main options down here. One is to either send to Dropbox or open in another application. In fact, it's one of the only real weaknesses of Hakusai. There's limited export features. But send to other app will allow you to move it into other apps like Twisted Wave or Voice Record Pro. Now I'm going to create a Twisted Wave project. Hit the plus button. I'm making it a mono project. I'm just going to record some audio. I am now recording within the Twisted Wave editing application, and I'm going to show you how to move a file from Twisted Wave into Okay, Hakusai. so that's enough. I'm just going to play it back. I am now recording within the Twisted Wave editing application, and I'm going to show Audio you how a little to bit hot there, to be perfectly honest with you. Into Hakusai. Just going to select this little mistake at the start and delete that by hitting the X. I am now nice recording Wave Now what I want to do is select the entire clip and just change the volume level with the settings button here in the bottom left. So I'm going to go to Amplify, and I can preview back the clip and then change it while I'm it's playing. So I'm just dropping the volume down by 2 dB here. Apply that, you'll see the jump, and now let's play again. I am now recording within the Twisted Wave editing application. Okay, that's great. So now I'm going to select that audio recording, all of it from the start to the end, and this is the trick. I'm going to go to the audio copy feature, press audio copy. It will ask me to give it a name. So it pops a keyboard. I'm going to call it Twisted Wave Clip. Hit done. And then press copy audio. Now this is the cool thing. Um, it will then pop up the different apps on the phone that are they're compatible with this. We're going to go back to Hakusai. It creates a brand new project by itself. And to import that clip, you go to Create. Scroll down the list just a little to Audio Paste. Select Audio Paste from Pasteboard. And voila, the recording has jumped from Twisted Wave into Hakusai. I'm now recording within the Twisted Wave editing application. And I'm going to show you how to move a file from Twisted Wave into Hakusai. If you want to record an extra track, you can again hit Record. See, that creates a track. I'm just going to delete that little recording now. But I still have an extra track available to me. I can import from anything that is saved in the clipboard memory. I can delete a track here, obviously, which I showed you earlier. And then the last feature to be aware of is the fact that you can import from Dropbox. So if you have your Dropbox account set up in the settings, you need to just log in and authorize. You can import a file that way as well. So Hakusai, an extremely powerful multi-track recorder and well worth the $8.99 in-app purchase. Remember, you can download free high-resolution cheat sheets to help you remember the different gestures for Hakusai. If you go to my blog, tvvj.wordpress.com, or if you scan this QR code, you can go directly for those cheat sheets. Also, give us a follow on Twitter, because I tend to blog an awful lot and tweet an awful lot about mobile journalism and technology.